So I'm Neville Hobson. Uh, today is May the 1st, 2021. So this short video, I just wanted to show you what happens now in my car with the update to the AA Wireless Companion app that uh, I installed it today. I think it came out within the last day or two um, on my uh, Samsung Galaxy S20. So it's the Android version of that companion app. And that's the app you use to change some behaviors related to the AA Wireless dongle, which is this delightful little package here. So um, the car's not, the engine's not on yet. <clears throat> and I'm going to turn it on in a second because it works. I already tried this. So what this update does is let you, um, uh, if your car supports it, um, and mine's a Toyota Corolla 2020 model uh, hybrid uh, that does support this feature. So essentially, when you turn this on um, and start the car or connect the, the device, uh, it loads Android Auto and also um, displays it instantly on, your, on, your, on the head unit screen, this thing here. So until now, uh, it would load it. You then have to go, in this case, to the menu button and then you choose it from there and tap the icon to run Android Auto. This makes it far more seamless and this is a, an excellent behavioral change, additional feature to this already excellent device that uh, that is an Indiegogo project. I backed it last September and I've been running it now since March when I got it. So I just want to show you. So I turn the engine on and it'll go through the sequence. So let me just do that. Hang on a sec. Okay, that's giving me the right instruction. So here we go. Uh, engine starting, okay, well, I say turn the car on as opposed to the engine. Now you can see down here the lights, or well, the light is flashing green, that's expected behaviour, and then it'll go to flashing blue, and then solid blue. Uh, it takes about 15 seconds normally to get it live as it were, and it might take a bit longer with this, I'm not sure. Okay, it's done. It used to give an indicator on the, um, uh, on the head unit that uh, Android Auto was loading and to uh, press the button but, uh, or to choose it from the menu, but it doesn't do that this time. So it's taking a bit longer than before. So what would I be doing if I was in the car now and going somewhere? I'd probably be backing it out of the drive and getting it ready to, to move and then probably moving off before uh, this comes. So um, it, yeah, well, I, I'm sure it's going to work because it just did. There you go. Automatically. Now, that's, that actually is quite slow, but that's probably the speed it's doing because there's all the stuff going on in the background to do this. So um, it's all the functionality is there that, that you'd expect. And uh, I'm very pleased with that feature. So uh, just to let you know, Emil and the team at AA Wireless, this works well. So um, in the companion app on my Samsung Galaxy S20, let me just see if I can pull it up. Is it going to, no, it didn't ask me great for the password. Where is it? Here we go. Um, this is where it is. This will change to be active in a second, hopefully, because it's uh, connected to the first, there you go. So you can see these new buttons at the bottom, and this is the one you need to select, auto video focus. So uh, this is great. Uh, there actually there's quite a bit more functionality there this time. But I think it's great what the guys have done, and this now makes this thing even more useful uh, where you don't have to go through that step. And that's one of the kind of negative things, other than the cable, of course. So now, get in the car, put your phone where you like, uh, and start it up uh, or turn it on, depending on what kind of car you got. And then within, as you saw in that little example, what was it, probably 20, 25 seconds, less than 30, I'd say. Uh, Android Auto automatically appears on the screen and uh, that's a pretty good feature so definitely you should try it if you want to like I said I think it really does depend on whether your car's head unit supports that kind of behind the scenes work uh, clearly mine does Toyota have enabled it uh, for this so give it a shot and see what happens